So, <clears throat> random quick tip for y'all today. Um, a good way to get quick and good drinking water is from trees. Um, the two main trees you can use are maple and birch. Now, we have a lot of river birch around here. And uh, right now is the perfect time to tap them. You can tap maple, birch trees, and other tappable trees uh, in the spring when it's really cold during the night, really warm during the day. Resin's going to slow down during the night, but during the day, it's just going to be rushing up by the gallon. All right. Um, out of my taps already, I've probably got two or three gallons. But I'm going to show you all the way that y'all can make a tap. If you don't have an electric drill or a hand drill or uh, anything but a knife. Okay? Stay tuned. And what we have here is a river birch tree. And um, these are really cool and useful trees. But right now is the perfect time to tap them. Now, tap them, you're basically just punching a hole in the tree. And you are utilizing the resin that's coming out of the tree because it's very, very, very water rich. It has a few minerals in it. And if you simmer it down, boil it a little bit, it's actually extraordinarily sweet. You can actually boil it down into a syrup. All right? So you're going to need a knife. But you're also going to need a tap, a way to collect the resin. So you're also going to need a container. Um, I have my canteen. You can use a canteen cup. You can use an improvised container from bark. You know, it's loads of trees you can harvest bark from and make a container out of. Birch being one of them. But you would need uh, pine resin to help seal it, get the holes out of it. All right, so you're gonna need yourself a stick. Uh, this stick right here will work. Well, it didn't break like I wanted it to, but that works. So here's our little stick. Um, you're basically going to get the bark off of the stick and you're going to just split it in half, straight down the middle. And you're going to carve a little gorge into it. And that's what your resin is going to flow down and into your uh, vessel. So let's get the bark off of this. Alright, so split straight down the middle, keep the blade away from you. When it's something this small, you can just press it straight in the middle, like that. And then just start prying, push it in. And then pry some more, and just keep going. until it splits like you want it to. That knot in the middle. Give me a fit, there it goes. Okay. So now we have our half. Let's move it out a little bit. And then what you're gonna do Let's just carve a little gorge straight down the middle right here. Just trying to create a small little ravine in there for it to flow down. Flip it over and do it on the other side too. See? Got the little gorge in there. Alright, next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to punch a hole in the tree. And you're going to want to set your container out to collect the resin. So, here's our tree, the base of our tree. We're going to use the base so we can just put a pot or container just directly below it to help uh, make things a little bit simpler for us. So, get your container out. Okay, and then you're gonna, Bubba! Bubba! Come here. You want your knife? You can also use a tomahawk if you have one, the spike on the back. That's awesome. So, uh, let's get rid of some of this bark right here. And then we're just going to um, punch a nice little hole in here. So, just 
get a hole in there however you can. You know, you can twist the knife all around like this. Let's make this hole a little bit deeper. Just beat the knife in. That helps. Sharpen this a little bit so it sticks in the tree. And that's a birch tent. So right quick. What I'm going to do, I'm going to show you all my real taps that I have that are actually set up to actually, you know, really collect resin and the juice. So let's go take a look at that. Now it's not an official tap because I don't have an actual tapping implement, but I do have a straw a perfect size matching drill hole and this is all the resin I've collected so far and I set this tap out no more than an hour ago probably now the deeper you make the hole the more fluid you want to get out at one time but just remember that after you're done um, try to plug the hole it's just it's beneficial for the tree if you plug the hole afterwards so be it used pine resin or it's been a few minutes and we've got a little bit in there you know it's slow because it's not very deep so that's how you make a tap to get clean drinking fluid uh, out in the wild however I would not recommend you keep this out in open air for more than 24 hours as it can actually ferment So, keep on surviving, keep on watching. Hope you all like this video. Uh, hit the like button. If you have a comment, go ahead and have a comment. Um, don't forget to subscribe. The subscribes are greatly appreciated, too. I'll see you all in my next video.